Hello and welcome to episode 6 of season 3 of Bobo Scrabati Records. Hey! Yes, so being Friday, I thought, ah, screw it, let's take out some of the big guns. So I'm going to start off in the M53 M55 and then we'll play through some of the others. Yeah, I'll pick them as we go. Um, yeah, so, you know, we'll have some games. Hopefully we won't get Ensk. Hopefully we'll actually have some good ones. You know, Wednesday's episode was a little bit tough, so... But then they're mid-tiers and it's a weekend. It's my excuse anyway. Excuses. ITO. South of Siegfried Line, second time this week. Eights, nines and tens. One artillery per side. Good stuff. We're in this uh, semi-wet field here. Do do bitty boo bitty boo bitty. So we'll sit back out this way, make sure we move around between shots just so then we don't end up getting countered. It seems less likely since the patch, weirdly. We've got a few seconds left on our reload, so I'm going to sit quite happy back there. Damn you, man. There's a Sheridan. Hmm. There's a potential for it to have hit him. I mean, he was he was zigzagging like a trooper, wasn't he? So this M41 is going to sit and just poke out every now and again, and he's going to be pretty safe from us. I mean, this Centurion. If we were in a better position than we are, we'd be able to hit, possibly. Wow, that went straight through, didn't it? Let's see what we can kind of hit over here. So we could try and thread the needle through over the top of these buildings and between these two. That would be scary. There's a T-69 there that's just, we're going to have to just skim this section to try and hit. It'd be really tough. That T57 heavy that's on the map there, maybe. I mean, let's throw that shell there. Maybe we should move over a titch. Okay, T57 heavy, there's an Emil. Hmm. Hmm. Need to try and find a target for our next shell. Centurion surrounded, surrounded, isn't he? Okay, we have a shell and no target. Though saying that. Yes, 44. Oh, it's one of the old FEs. Looks like he's going to shimmy backwards and forwards. There's the FE207. Have a look. I think he knows he's been spotted, surely. I expect the uh, 13105, though, is going to be preoccupied with the Sheridan, unfortunately. We'll throw a shell anyway. There we go. Good stuff. I'm thinking then, seeing as though it's only really the Sheridan that's out over this way, it might be worth us heading wide. Yeah, I think we can get away with this. We should probably stop and get aimed in though, because it's coming up to the end of our reload, then we'll move over a bit more after the fact. Come on, aim time. Bibbidi, 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 bibbidi. Wow! Nice. Wasn't quite sure whether that was going to go in or not. But it did. Now we can head up nice and wide. Try and get some unsuspecting shots on the people in town. 
Okay, we're coming up on a reload again. It's going to be worth stopping and trying to get aimed. I'm not stopping quick enough, you see? Because now we're having to wait for the same time. Again. Good stuff. Now we can keep on moving around. If we can get down past these dragon's teeth and round a little bit more, that might help. Okay, let's stop here and try and get aimed in because we've got the FV, we've got an Uds. Looks like he's in fiery mode, so. There we go, managed to hit the FV in the side. If we keep heading over this way, we might be able to get some shots on like the, the 57 Heavy and the like. Let's see. Yeah, there is a potential. Especially if we go up far enough. Here we go, let's keep going. That should do it. Let's see what we can do here then. Maybe we could hit the back of this chap. There we are. Is it just me? Do you guys get that when the shells come in, where they, it, it's almost like the damage happens and then the kaboom afterwards? It's a bit weird. The yeah, FE's moving very slowly. I'm wondering if his engine's damaged. Looks like our guys have taken care of the... Uh, call it. T57. We didn't really need to fire that shell there, did we? Nice, good game. Good, well that's that's one to start off with, eh? Nice victory. Two kills as well, third on XP. Nice. Ten shots fired, four direct hits, four penetrations, five splash, 1,976. No assistance damage. Kind of used to that now, aren't we? 1,025 stun with 7 stuns. Good. Just scrape some... Uh, just scrape some, some credits too. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try the, uh, the 58, shall we? Okay, Sand River. We're on a side we're not normally on this time. Okay, 9s and 10s. 3 artillery per side. Let's see if we can go over this way. Try and get pre-aimed to some extent. Gonna sit nice and high on this dune. Boop. Rocky, rocky, rock. Let's just maybe go a little bit. There we are. We've got a little bit of time. We can actually just look around and see who's being spotted where and all this kind of thing. Night tanks are having a nice old time throwing themselves around. Well, there's one of the batch out on its side. Might as well take advantage of that. Take a shot at one of these tortoises I suppose. Very nearly hit him. Maybe we can have a go at him again. What was that ours? Really? That was right on the edge of the aiming circle, wasn't it? Okay. Well, we'll let this reload happen. We'll keep an eye on the map, see what's going on where. Our guys are pushing on very unusually. Not really.
really seen this before. Hmm. Wonder why this chap's being the way he is. Hmm, T57 heavy over this way. Maybe it's going to be worth. Oh, we stopped. Okay. This chap should be able to get something on. Oop. Maybe. Maybe we did something there. Let's see what we can do here. Damn. Okay. Might have splashed him. Don't know. We haven't really had to move around yet, so it's kind of a good thing. Not really going to be able to get anything on that chap. One of the artillery's been spotted. Oh dear. Oh dear. Not cool. I think we should get moving now. Not cool at all. I don't want to waste any time potentially being spotted and stuff. I'd rather just get moved and be out of harm's way. Plus, actually going up this way, we should be able to get better shots down on the cap, possibly. And I suppose we haven't really got to move our hull around to try and get shots places, have we? We could probably stop here for now. Whether or not he's going to have sat in the same position, I don't really want to... Uh, waste too many shells. Okay, they're not there. Okay, looks like someone went through and then came out again there. Ah, yes, it was one of the light tanks there. We could really do with someone spotting that cap. Hmm. There's still a minute to go though. Maybe we can throw our last shell at this guy seeing as though we can see him and then wait for a reload. It's gonna hit that rock, isn't it? No. Okay. I thought for a second it was. Let's hold this turret in place. At least we can confidently move around a little bit more. See how the the sand sparkles in the sun. Oh. Okay, there's only not long left to go. Okay, there we are. There's there's a bit of the cap taken off. one of our shells. Maybe we can get another one off on him. Okay, a little bit of a waste there. Don't think we're going to need to. We can try. There we go. Nice. So it's just the artillery left and we're on reload. Probably not going to need to fire anymore, are we? Wow, nice shot. Wonder where the M53 and 55 went then. I bet he's down around the back or something. Where did he go? I 
would have imagined he'd be over this way then. Yeah, there he is, see. Ah, there he goes. See, why is it happening with artillery? Why do we just hit them like that? That's crazy. <laughs> and there we are. Victory. Not as good that time, but hey ho. The rest of our team did very well. 13 shots fired, 4 direct hits, 4 penetrations, 5 splash, 1,320. We got assistance and stun that time. 437 assistance and 1,356 stun with 7 stuns. This is one of the vehicles that we do normally get a good amount of stuns, so that's fairly low for the 58. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go try the old Conqueror gun carriage and see how we can finish off in that. Hey, look at that. Glacier. Two artillery per side, eights, nines and tens. I love the way the snow looks. This is the first time we've been here on artillery. Something I'm going to do, I'm going to try heading over this way. Yeah, I love the way the snow kind of goes all smushed and stuff. Looks awesome. So we normally get some spots in the middle. We've got some cool like frozen sunken ships and a lighthouse and other cool stuff. A lot of the artillery on the other side tend to sit over here. What? How the hell are we spotted already? It's crazy. Okay, let's let's not get. Wow. Okay, that can happen. Woohoo! That's the glacier map, everybody. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to wait for that to come back. We'll just um, we'll finish off the episode in the GWE 100. You know, hopefully we'll do well. And we'll pick a decent spot, hey? Look at that. Fishermansville. Thames all the way up. One artillery per side and we're both in GWE 100s. Doesn't that look lovely? Very nice. Okay. Going to sit kind of over there. Not too fussed about the road. Hopefully people will spot stuff kind of heading across the south and then we'll be able to get an initial shot over that way. That would be super. Again, things seem a little flatter over here, which is nice. That's weird. Okay. Maybe. Maybe we did some splashy. You never know. There's a mouse. A couple of tank destroyers have been spotted. Now, if you were artillery, where would you sit? It's going to be worth trying to fire on this guy. I want to try and get... Try and let our guys push on, so... Okay, maybe we should have been on him there because he is back down over the hill so damn right then we'll see what we can do this chap's looking fairly cautious got a big old gun that see what we can do with this shell shall we Hopefully we did something there. I'm keeping an eye on the uh, the town, but I really don't think that uh, I really don't think we need to worry about them too much. Maybe we can fire something at him. Hmm. 
Still not really seeing any artillery shots. Almost like a weird smush love heart, that, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, our guys aren't doing anywhere near as well at the moment, are they? Oh dear. We've had some awful shots, haven't we? Let's move over a little bit further and see. See what we can do. Alright, I mean, these guys are holding well, especially seeing as there's just an auto loader that's going to take forever to reload and an IS 7 that is. Really not looking too great. Okay, we did a little something. That was very good for the, the IS-7 to take that shot. We'll keep trying. See what we can do. Maybe we can stun both of them at once. There's no fog. Why is there a foghorn? That's a little better. Oh dear. Okay, now we're in trouble. Let's get moved now. Because probably should have got moved as soon as that IS-7 decided to push on, but... Hey ho. I really don't think we're going to do too good here. Let's see if we can get out of harm's way. Oh dear. Do we need to push on? He's so much quicker than us. No. Uh, quick, 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 quick. Down push. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, there's a two six eight four coming up now. The two fifty seven heavy might be looking for us, so we're not going to be able to do much until we get further up this road now. I don't really want to try and stop and derp because, like, the two fifty seven and the E three are both going to just be able to. What's that? It's like a smudge. Okay, they might think the artillery is still around, so... What might we might be able to do is if our guys can take out the leopard and... Uh, and the RM, RHM, then... Maybe... Ah, uh. oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping we could get in there. Okay, we can stick around. You never know. Looks like our guys are being able to deal with the guys up north, which is handy. Doesn't look like this leopard is uh, going to stick his head out. Although we might. We only need to splash him a wee bit, don't we? Let's see. Oh, they were waiting for him. Good stuff. Okay. Feel a bit more confident about pushing on round now. Not too much because we've still got 17 seconds. So you know. Do what you want, 
Uh, he's gonna come for us. Damn it. Oh, you lucky. Lucky bum, you. Okay, that T-57 Heavy looks like he might be headed back down this way. That'd be bad news bears, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can help out this cat then. Good. Maybe I should try and get behind this chap. I think it's probably safe that we do this, to be honest. There we go. Ooh, good. How did we survive that? Good. There we go. Look, we had six bonds for that as well. Ah. Nine shots fired, one direct hit and a penetration, six splash or 1,641. No assistance or stun, but seven stuns. So we did make some credits there. And we got some bonds, which is good. So we did hit the uh, the FV. We only tracked him by the look of things. Oh no, we did do some damage. That's good. 24 on the, the E50. So we did get a little bit at the beginning there. Okay. Interesting. Not going to look at the Conquer Gun carriage because, yeah, that was the thing. Okay, right. I'll leave it there for this episode. You guys have a lovely weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. And uh, yeah, leave leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed. And I'll see you then. So, bye.